Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma's channel. Today's crochet tutorial is for the Purple Passion Throw. This is a beautiful afghan made with the Mandela Ombre in this beautiful colors of purple. This is the color number 219 Chi and I want to give a special thank you to Lion Brand for sponsoring this video and supplying me with the yarn to make this afghan. Afghan. I just thought this yarn worked up beautifully. It had so many different shades of the purple and it just was the perfect yarn for this stitch pattern. So let me tell you a little bit about the yarn and then I'll give you more information about the afghan and show you the stitch pattern up close. So this yarn comes in a 5.3 ounce cake, 150 grams, 344 yards, 315 meters. It's machine wash and dryable and when I make these larger projects, I want to be able to put them in the washer and dryer and keep them clean and nice. This yarn is 100% acrylic. It has a very soft feel to it. It is a wonder to work with. I absolutely enjoyed working with this yarn. It's made in India and it is a four medium worsted weight yarn. Now for this pattern today, you're going to need seven cakes of yarn. This afghan measures 42 inches across by 52 inches long. Now for today's project, if you want to make this larger, you're going to need to purchase more yarn. You're going to need to use the stitch multiple of four plus 10. So you would chain four, chain four again, so it would be four, eight, 12 increments of four till you get it to the width you want and then you need to add 10 more chains to start your afghan. Now let me show you some of the up close features of this stitch pattern. Now I don't know the name of the stitch pattern, but when it's laying flat, you really don't see how beautiful the stitch pattern is. When you lift this afghan up, you're going to see with spring and summer coming, you want a more light and lacy afghan. You don't want those really heavy, chunky afghans. You want something that's just light and lacy and still going to keep you toasty warm. So when you look at this afghan, you see we finished the afghan with a simple double crochet pico border. Just a simple border, but just gives it the perfect accent as the finishing touch for this afghan. And then when you hold the stitch pattern up, you'll see that this stitch pattern is worked in V stitches and shells. And when you work this pattern, it pulls that V stitch ever so slightly inward and it creates this beautiful diamond. If you look here, you can see it a little bit better with the lighter color. You can see these beautiful diamond shapes being formed in the pattern. It's just beautiful. Now the Lion Brand Mandela Ombre comes in many wonderful color choices. So you can check out those color choices. Now this afghan will be available as a kit directly from Lion Brand's website on March 5th. So I'll have a link in the description box in this video. You can click that link. It'll take you right to the kit. And I'll also have a link directly to the Lion Brand Mandela Ombre yarn. If you want to choose a different color, you can just order however many skeins you wish if you would like to make this afghan. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get this project started. I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer when you join your yarn on your hook. We're going to begin and we're going to chain 174 chains. You're going to yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, and this creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's two, three, four, five, continue until you have 174 chains and I'll be back and we'll start row one. I'm back. I have my starting chain with 174 chains. To begin row one, we're going to yarn over the hook and you're going to skip the first six chain. One, 
two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to insert into the seventh chain from hook, work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a double crochet. We're going to chain one and then work one more double crochet back into that same chain and this creates a V stitch of a double crochet chain one and a double crochet all in that same chain. Now we're ready to start our repeat so if you need help working across your afghan this is where you're going to click back on the video. You're going to work from the start of the repeat until I say this is the end of the repeat and you're going to repeat that across to within the last three chain. So let's begin the repeat you're going to chain one, you're going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and we're going to work a double crochet into the next chain. You're going to chain one and double crochet back into that same chain. So what we're doing is working a double crochet V stitch of one double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet into that chain. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next three chain. One, two, three. And we're going to work a V stitch into the next chain. Double crochet into that next chain. Chain one and double crochet back into that same chain. So again you're going to have that double crochet, chain one and double crochet into that chain and that is the end of the repeat. So very simple repeat for row one. So let's go ahead and do it one more time and then you can continue on your own. Again you're going to chain one, skip three chain, one, two, three, work a double crochet into the next chain, chain one and double crochet back into that same chain. So that is the end of the repeat. So again if you need help just click back on the video. You're going to chain one, skip the next three chains, and work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into that fourth chain and you're going to repeat that across until you get to the last three chains and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row one. I have three chains remaining. One, two, three. This is what your work looks like. So to finish row one again you end with three chains remaining and then we're going to chain one, you're going to skip two chain and work a double crochet into that very last chain across the row. And that's how you end row one and this is what your work should look like. So row one is our base row and row two and row three will be our repeat rows. So very easy pattern, very easy repeat. So let's go ahead and start row two. We're going to begin with a chain three. One, two, three. And this beginning chain three counts as your first double crochet. Now we're going to start our repeat. So again if you need help with row two just click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat and you're going to work that across to your ending turning chain. So let's begin the repeat. We're going to skip this next chain one space and we're going to work a front post double crochet around this next double crochet stitch. You're going to yarn over the hook, you're going to bring your hook to the front of the work, insert from front to back and back to front around the post of that stitch. So your stitch is laying right on top of your hook 
and then we're going to work a double crochet. Yarn over, pull underneath the post of that stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. You just made a front post double crochet. And then you may have to pull your work apart to find that chain one space. We're going to work two double crochet, a chain one, and two double crochet into the center V stitch in the chain one space. So work two double crochet into this chain one space. One. And two. You're going to chain one. Work two more double crochet into that same chain one space. One. And two. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of this next double crochet stitch. You're going to yarn over the hook, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front so your post of your stitch is laying on top of your hook and work your double crochet. And that's how you do a front post double crochet and that is the end of the repeat. So our repeat we're working this front post double crochet into the first double crochet of the next V stitch and then we're working two double crochet, a chain one and two double crochet in the center of the V stitch in that chain one space. And then we finish the repeat by working a front post double crochet into the last double crochet of that V stitch. So very simple repeat. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. You're going to skip this chain one space here. We're going to work a front post double crochet around this next double crochet of the next V stitch. Yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert from front to back, back to front. Yarn over, pull underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. You just made your front post double crochet. Now I like to use my finger and I just open that up. I'm going to work two double crochet into that chain one space. One and two. You're going to chain one, work two more double crochet into that same chain one space. One and two. To end the repeat, we're working a front post double crochet around the last double crochet of this current V stitch. Yarn over, bring your hook to the front of the work, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. Your stitch is laying on top your hook. Yarn over, pull underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You just made your front post double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and work a couple more sections with you and then you can continue on your own. Now I showed in detail how to make those front post double crochet so if you still have trouble just click back on the video. So let's start the repeat again. Front post double crochet around that next double crochet. Just take your finger, open that chain one space up, work two double crochet into that chain one space. One. And two. You're going to chain one, work two more double crochet into that same chain one space. One. and two. To end the repeat, we're going to work a front post double crochet around that next double crochet stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. Again, a front post double crochet around the first double crochet of that V-stitch. 
two double crochet, a chain one, and two double crochet into the chain one space in the center of that V stitch, and finish the repeat with a front post double crochet around the last double crochet of that V stitch. So let's do it again. Front post double crochet around the next double crochet. Take your finger, open that chain one space up in the center of that V-stitch, work two double crochet, one, two, chain one, and two more double crochet into that same chain one space. One, and two. And you're going to finish the repeat with a front post double crochet around that next double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So if you need help, just click back on the video. Again, you're going to skip that next chain one space between the V-stitch. You're going to work a front post double crochet into the first double crochet of the next V-stitch two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet into the chain one space, and then finish the repeat with a front post double crochet into the last double crochet of that current V-stitch. And you're just going to repeat that across to your ending turning chain. And if you need additional help, just click back on the video where I showed in detail how to do those stitches. I'll meet you at the end of row two. So I'm over at the end of row two. You finished with your last repeat in the last V-stitch, and then you have your ending turning chain. So to end the row, we're going to come over to the top of that turning chain. We're going to skip this top chain and work one double crochet into the next chain. So yarn over, skip that very top chain of the turning chain and go into the next chain. Work a double crochet. And that is how you end row two and this is what your work looks like going across your work. So now we're ready to begin row three. We're going to begin with a chain four. One, two, three, and four. You're going to turn your work. The beginning chain four counts as the first double crochet plus a chain one. We're going to be working into the chain one space of each shell stitch across, and each shell stitch is the wide fan-shaped stitch that's right in the center of the V-stitch below. You'll see the chain one space right into the center of each shell. We're going to double crochet into the chain one space of that first shell stitch, yarn over, insert into the chain one space of that first shell, work a double crochet. Chain one, double crochet back into that same chain one space. So when you look at your work, your stitches will be stacked. It'll be the V-stitch, the shell stitch, and then the V-stitch will be right into the middle of the shell stitch. And you'll continue that across the row, stacking our stitches. Now we're going to start our repeat. So if you need help for this row, you're going to click back to where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and we're going to work that across to your ending turning chain. So let's begin the repeat. You're going to chain one, find your next shell stitch. We're working into the chain one space right into the middle of that shell stitch. Work a double crochet. Chain one, and double crochet back into that same chain one space. And that is the end of the repeat. Again, you can see how your stitches are stacking. You have the V-stitch you just made, the shell stitch is centered under it, and then your V-stitch under that. So we're just stacking. So let's do the repeat again. Chain one, 
find your next chain one space in the center of your next shell stitch right here work a double crochet chain one and double crochet back into that same chain one space and that is the end of the repeat let's do it again chain one find your next shell stitch we're working right into the center chain one space double crochet into the chain one space of that next shell stitch chain one and double crochet back into that same chain one space so let's do it one more time and then you can continue on your own again this is the start of the repeat chain one find your next shell stitch you're working into the center in the chain one space work a double crochet chain one and double crochet back into that same chain one space and that is the end of the repeat so go ahead and continue you're going to chain one and then work a double crochet chain one double crochet into the chain one space of that next shell stitch repeat that across until you get to your ending turning chain and I'll meet you there I'm over at the end of row three. I just worked my last V stitch in the last shell across. And again, when you look at your work, you can see how our stitches are centered right in the top of the stitch below. This is what your work looks like. And then we're going to finish the row. You can see again, you worked your last V stitch in the last shell. So you want to find your ending turning chain. You're going to skip all these remaining stitches in that last shell stitch. And we're going to end the row with a chain one. And then we're going to double crochet into the top of this ending chain. So find your last stitch. Here's your last stitch. And then this is the top of your ending chain. So double crochet right into the top of your ending turning chain. And row three is finished. This is how simple this pattern is. So let me take my hook out. Again, row one was the base row and rows two and row three are the repeat rows. So when you finish row three, you're on the wrong side of your work. So you're going to turn your work over and then this is the right side and you can see how that texture is starting to form and you can see how it makes that diamond shape. So now to finish the afghan, you're going to work rows 4 through 101 and you're just going to repeat rows 2 and row 3. When you get to the end of row 101, you're ending with this V stitch row. So go ahead and continue and repeat rows two and row three until you have a total of 101 rows. And I'll meet you at the end of row 101. I'm over at the end of row 101. The afghan is really large. I can't get the whole afghan into the viewfinder, but this is what it looks like. Very beautiful stripe pattern, very beautiful colors of purple and lavender. Now, when you get to the end of row 101, you're going to be ending on the wrong side of your work and you're going to be ending with that V stitch row. The main part of our afghan is finished and now we're getting ready to start our border. To begin the border, you're just going to turn your work and we're going to start right away with round one of the border. So again, you're on the wrong side. You just ended on row 101 and now you're just going to turn your work. So now the right side of the afghan is facing. You can see the texture of your stitches. And now we're going to go right up and start round one. We're going to begin and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And this beginning chain three will count as our first double crochet stitch. 
Now we're going to double crochet into this next chain one space. We're going to work two double crochet into the next chain one space, which is in the center of this V stitch. Yarn over, insert into that next chain one space, work two double crochet. One and two. Now we're going to start the repeat, and this repeat is for across the top of our afghan only. So if you need help, you'll just click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat for across the top of round one of the border. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and we're going to work across to the next corner. So let's begin. You're going to double crochet into the next chain one space between the V stitches. So one double crochet into that next chain one space. Next, we're going to work two double crochet into the center of the next V stitch in the next chain one space. Yarn over, insert into that chain one space of that next V stitch, work two double crochet. One and two. And that is the end of the repeat. Very simple repeat. We're working one double crochet into the chain one space between the V stitches and then you're working two double crochet into the chain one in the center of the V stitch. So let's do it a couple more times together. Double crochet into the next chain one space between the V stitches. Two double crochet into the chain one space of the next V stitch. One and two. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Double crochet into the chain one space between the V stitches. Then work two double crochet into the chain one space of the next V stitch one and two and again that is the end of the repeat i'll work it one more time with you and then you can continue on your own double crochet into the next chain one space between the two v stitches two double crochet into the next chain one space in the center of that v stitch one and two. And that's all there is to the repeat. One double crochet into the next chain one space and then two double crochet into the chain one space of the V stitch. One double crochet between the V stitches and two double crochet into the center of that next V stitch. Continue and work that pattern across to the corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the first corner of round one. We just worked across the top of our afghan. You work two double crochet into the center of each V stitch and then one double crochet in between each V stitch. You repeated that across and you should end your repeat with two double crochet into that last V stitch. So now we're going to form our corner, but first we need to add one more stitch and we're going to put it right into the corner chain four space. You're going to work one double crochet right against that last stitch. Yarn over, insert into the chain four space, work a double crochet. So now we want to form a V stitch for our corner to make the transition around to the other side. So you're going to yarn over, insert into the very next chain, which is the third chain of that chain four, work a double crochet. You're going to chain two, and then work one more double crochet into that same chain. And your corner is made. Now we're going to start working down the length of our afghan and we're still going to be working into the same space of that turning chain four. We're going to work two more double crochet right into this first row end stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that corner turning chain space, work two double crochet. One and two. 
you can see how we worked across the top, made our corner, and now we're starting down the length of our afghan. So working down the length of our afghan, your row end stitches are very easy to see. You're just going to come over to the end and you can see here's your row end stitch. This one's a little bit bigger. Then you have this tighter one, so you really have to put your finger in there. That's your next row end stitch. Then the bigger one, and then you have your next one, which is tighter. And this is where we're going to be working our stitches. Next, we're going to work one double crochet into the next row end stitch. You're going to yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work, and insert around the post of that end stitch. Work your double crochet. Now we're going to start our repeat, so very simple repeat. We're going to work two double crochet into the larger row end stitch, and then one double crochet into that next row end stitch, which is a little bit tighter. And we're going to repeat that down to our next corner. So let's go ahead and begin the repeat. Two double crochet into the next row end stitch. One, and two. One double crochet into the next row and stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it a couple more times together. We're going to work two double crochet into the next row and stitch. One and two. One double crochet into the next row and stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. Two double crochet into the next row and stitch. One double crochet into the next row and stitch. So go ahead and repeat. Two double crochet into the next row and stitch one double crochet into the next row and stitch. Repeat that down to your next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my corner. I just worked down the length of my afghan. You're going to have two double crochet into the larger row end stitch and one double crochet into that tighter row end stitch and you work that down the length of your afghan to your last row end stitch or this large corner space. So to end this side of the afghan, we're going to work two double crochet into this last row end stitch or the corner. So yarn over, insert into that large space, the last row end stitch, work two double crochet. One and two. Now we're going to form our corner, so we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet into this third chain. So you're counting up from the bottom, one, two, three, or the very next chain after you work your two double crochet. Yarn over, insert into that third chain, work a double crochet, chain two, Yarn over, insert back into that same chain as the last stitch worked, and work a double crochet. So you can see that our corner is made, and now we need to put one more stitch into this corner chain space to start going across the bottom of our foundation row. So let's work one more double crochet into that corner chain four space. So your corner is made and you made the transition from the second side and now you're going to work across the bottom of the afghan across the foundation row. So the repeat across the bottom of the foundation chain is pretty simple. We're going to start and work two double crochet right into the base of this V stitch and then one double crochet into this chain three space two double crochet into the base of the V-stitch, and one double crochet into the next chain three space. And we're going to repeat that across to the very last stitch of the bottom of the afghan. So let's go ahead and begin. Two double crochet into the base of the V-stitch. One. 
and two. One double crochet into this next chain three space and that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. Two double crochet into the base of this next V stitch. One and two. One double crochet into the next chain three space and that is the end of the repeat and what we're doing is just pulling this together and just giving it a more finished look. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. Two double crochet into the base of the next V stitch. One and two. One double crochet into the next chain three space. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and repeat two double crochet into the base of this next V stitch and one double crochet into the next chain three space. Repeat that across to your next corner until you get to the last stitch and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next corner. I just worked across the bottom of the foundation chain and when you look at your work you're going to have two double crochet into the base of that v-stitch and then one double crochet into that chain three space. You work that across the bottom of your afghan and you ended with one double crochet right in that last chain three space and you have one stitch remaining. So let's zoom up and do our corner. So when you look at your work again you ended with a double crochet into that chain three space and here is your last stitch. We're going to work one double crochet, a chain two, and one double crochet right in the base of this last stitch. Yarn over, insert right into the base of that last stitch across, work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet back into that same space at the base of that last stitch. So we just formed our V stitch of the corner. So now we're working down the last side of our afghan. We're working right down in the row end stitches and we're going to work it the same as we did on the other side. We're working two double crochet into this larger space around the post of that row end stitch and then one double crochet into the next row end stitch. So let's go ahead and start. Yarn over, insert into that first row end stitch, work two double crochet. One and two. One double crochet into the next row end stitch, and that is the end of the repeat. So again you're working two double crochet underneath and around the post of this larger row and stitch space and then one double crochet underneath and around the post of that next row and stitch. So let's do it a couple more times. Two double crochet into the next row and stitch, one and two one double crochet into the next row and stitch and that is the end of the repeat. Two double crochet into the next row and stitch, one and two. One double crochet into the next row and stitch. So very easy repeat. So go ahead and continue. Again, you're working two double crochet into that larger opening around that row end stitch and then one double crochet around the post of the next row end stitch. Repeat that down to your next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next corner. This is the last corner or the last row end stitch. So when you're working your repeat, you're working two double crochet into that larger row end stitch opening. 
one double crochet into that next row and stitch you repeated that down your length and this is our last row and stitch or our corner this part here is the beginning of round one so this is your last row and stitch so you ended the pattern again with one double crochet into that row and stitch and we have one row and stitch remaining so now we're going to go ahead and work our corner and we're working into this last row and stitch space we're going to work two double crochet yarn over insert into that last row and stitch work two double crochet one and two now we're going to work half a v-stitch because this is the first part of our v-stitch but we need to finish and make a double crochet a chain two so we're going to double crochet right into the same chain as the base of this beginning chain three you don't want to put it in this space you want to go right into that chain yarn over insert into the same chain at the base of that beginning chain three work a double crochet you're going to chain two one two and now we're going to join at the top of that beginning chain three so count up one two three insert your hook into the top of that beginning chain three space and slip stitch and that completes our V stitch for the corner. So round one is finished. Let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see a little more of our border. But you should have nice, beautiful, straight edges on your afghan now. And now we're getting ready to start round two of our border. So now we're ready to begin round two. So round two, we're going to be working in half double crochets. So we're going to start with a chain one. Now this chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to work a half double crochet into the top of that joining stitch. Yarn over, insert into the top of that same joining stitch, work a half double crochet. half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch and you're just going to continue and work one half double crochet in each stitch across to the next corner chain two space So go ahead and work one half double crochet in each stitch across until you get to that next corner chain two space and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first corner chain two space of round two. We just worked one half double crochet in each stitch across and when you get to your corner chain two space we're going to work a total of six half double crochet into this corner chain two space. So let's go ahead and work our stitches. Yarn over, insert into that corner chain two space, work six half double crochet. One, two, three, four, and then I like to pull my stitches over, five, and six. And this is the end of the repeat, and you're going to repeat this around the remaining three sides. So you're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch across to your next corner chain two space, and then work six half double crochet into that corner chain two space. So just find your very next stitch. Make sure you don't skip this first stitch. Half double crochet into that stitch and then half double crochet in each stitch across to your next corner chain two space, work six half double crochet in each corner chain two space, work that around the remaining three sides, and I'll meet you at the end of round two. 
I'm over at the end of round two of our border. We worked a half double crochet in each stitch around, and in our corners, we made six half double crochet in each corner chain two space. So now we're going to go ahead and join our round. So let me zoom back up. We're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of this first half double crochet stitch. That chain one that we started with, you're going to skip the chain one, insert under the top two loops of that first half double crochet and slip stitch. So round two is finished. So now we're going to start round three, which is our final round of our border. We're going to begin with a chain three, one, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to put a really cute pico stitch into the top of this last double crochet. We're going to chain three. You're going to come back, insert your hook into the front loop only of that last double crochet made, and then you're going to stick your hook in the side of that stitch and slip stitch. Your pico stitch is made. It just adds a really nice touch to your border for this afghan. So now we're going to start the repeat. We're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches double crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Double crochet into the next stitch. And that's two. Now we're going to work our pico stitch, chain three. Bring your hook around to the front of your work. You're going into the front loop only of the last stitch made. And then you're going to come in through the side. You're just going to grab that loop right on the side of the stitch and slip stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it a few more times. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work our pico stitch into the top of that last double crochet made. Chain three. Bring your hook around to the front of your work. You're going to insert from top to bottom through the front loop only, and then the top loop through the side of the stitch and slip stitch. Your pico stitch is made, and you can see how it's forming that pico border. So let's work it together two more times. Again, this is the start of the repeat. We're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches double crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Double crochet into the next stitch. And that's two. Now we're going to work our pico stitch. You're going to chain three. Bring your hook around to the front of the work. Go from top to bottom down through that front loop only. And then the top loop right at the center side of that stitch and slip stitch. Your pico stitch is made and that is the end of the repeat. So I'm going to do it one more time with you. We're going to double crochet one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's one. Double crochet into the next stitch and that's two. You're going to chain three and this is your pico stitch. Bring your hook around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the front loop only, and then out through the top loop through the side of that stitch and slip stitch. And your pico stitch is made, and this is what your border is going to look like. So if you need help, click back on the video. Again, you're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then a pico stitch into the top of the last stitch made. And you're going to repeat that around the entire four sides of your afghan. I'll meet you at the end of round three. 
I'm over at the end of round three. I have one stitch remaining and this is what your border looks like. You can see that beautiful Pico stitch just adds a little bit of interest to that border. So let me zoom up and we're going to go ahead and finish this round and finish our afghan. So when you work around, you'll notice that we only have one stitch remaining, so there's not enough room to do another repeat. So you're ending with one stitch remaining. So to finish the round, we're going to work a double crochet and a pico stitch into this last stitch. Yarn over, insert into the last stitch, work a double crochet. You're going to chain three, Bring your hook back around, insert from top to bottom through the front loop, and then right in the top loop of the side of the stitch and slip stitch. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert into the top of that chain three, right in that top chain, and slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Now I'm going to fasten off my work, and again, you can use whichever method you prefer. I chain two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So now I'm going to weave my ends in, and I'll be back and show you the finished afghan. Our afghan is finished. This is the final results. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here at Creative Grandmas. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting everyone!